Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good evening, boys. Uh, thank you so much for your participation uh, during the class. I really appreciate your efforts. And uh, let us summarize today. Uh, today's all the important points of today's lesson. Okay, we started from uh, the lesson number two of unit two, page number 22 of your learner book. The wedding customs. So here we came to know about the wedding uh, kimonos. In Japan, the bride and groom often wear a traditional kimono. This is the name of the dress, as you can see in the picture. Both men and women wear a kimono. Not only the women, but the men also they wear, right? And this kimono is very long and made of silk. So the type of cloth they use it is silk and it is very long as well and secondly we have seen in the second picture uh, throwing rice so in some countries the guests throw rice at the bride and groom right after the wedding so in other countries they they throw flowers and uh, petals as well right flower petals so here you can see the second picture. Uh, there is a couple, bride and groom, right? And they are uh, the guests are throwing flower petals on them. And thirdly, uh, it's about the hand painting in some countries like uh, India. The bride's family decorate her hands and uh, feet with henna, right? And henna is made from the leaves of plants. So it is used to draw pictures and patterns. And sometimes the name of the groom is written on the bride's hand. So the third picture is showing us uh, the hands of a bride and groom. And we can see that uh, the bride's hands are colored with henna, right? We can see the red color and these are called the patterns. Here you can see these are called the patterns. This word we have seen here, the draw pictures and patterns. So these are the patterns of henna. And uh, then we have seen the last one, uh, wedding league, right? So in Hawaii, it's a state in USA and uh, in Hawaii uh, and other South Pacific islands, the bride and groom wear a necklace made of flowers or leaves right so when they get married it is called uh, lee the name of the necklace right and the groom wears a uh, lee made of leaves on the other hand the bride wears a lee made of uh, white flowers so the lee smells very nice here you can see the picture of uh, the lee the green with the green leaves it is uh, a leaf for the groom and on the left side uh, the, you can see the necklace made with the white floss it is uh, for the uh, bride right so after completing uh, the page number 22 we started uh, questions answers question number two how quickly can you find the answers so in which country country do they decorate the bride's hand the answer is let me write it here write it here for you guys in india all right and what do people throw at bride and groom in some countries rice and flour petals right and what do the bride and groom wear in japan kimono and in hawaii what is uh, the flower necklace called is called lee so how that you can write these answers on your book then we played a track number 11 
where Charlie and Anna, they were making name cards for a wedding ceremony. And the cards uh, tell people where to sit. So we listen uh, the conversation between Charlie and Anna. So here, who is Mr. Wilson? Let me write it here for you. Who is Mr. Wilson? Uh, Mr. Wilson is grandfather, grandfather, right? And who is Mrs. Ortiz? Grandfather of Anna. Okay. And who is Mrs. Ortiz? This, this question. Charlie's aunt. Okay, so how that you can write the answers of these two questions. All right, the most people have first uh, name and surname, the family name, right? Today, I've uh, already given you the examples during the class. So you have seen the surname is the family name like uh, you guys have name al maliki and uh, zahrani these are the family name the, the first name the first part of your name is your first name right so here when you, we talk uh, to the teachers and the adults so then we don't know to whom we don't know well so we often use the title or their surname right like Mr. for man and Mrs. for married woman and Miss for unwedded woman or girl, right? And the, the last one, it's also Miss, it's we use for woman, either she's a married or unmarried. Right? And here, this is uh, the Wilson family, say the title and surname of each person. This is Mr. Wilson. This is uh, Mrs. Wilson, right? And uh, here, she is Miss, right? And this is Mr. And she is Mrs., all right? So in man many countries, it is uh, polite for children to use the title when they talk to an adult. So in this, uh, is this the same in or the different in your country. So yeah, you have to decide it. And uh, you can talk about, uh, imagine that your family is having a dinner party and uh, you need to draw a big table, write the names of the people uh, by the table. So who will next to the who? So explain your picture to your partner. That's very good activity that you have to perform. And uh, the homework you are going to do today is the page number 18 and 19, right? This is your homework you're going to complete. And that is it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care and goodbye.